society that we live in, it was very clear to me that if we really did want to actually get, like we spoke about earlier on, that, that fair equal Scotland that we were after, then it had to come with a yes vote. Because, I mean, it's, it's my, my main gripe is the British establishment and everything that that establishment epitomises. This is the same as elitist, out-of-touch establishment that has given us Section 28, that has decriminal, uh, criminalised homosexuality, that has basically... It's the whole British establishment that really gripes me. And don't get me wrong, I was never one of these people that thought, do you know what, we're going to vote yes and it's all going to be milk and roses and it's going to be brilliant, it's going to be beautiful. I knew fine well that we really ran the risk of replacing one little elitist system with another one up in Edinburgh. And that was why the power of civil engagement was so brilliant through that referendum campaign because I'm quite confident now that that would absolutely not be a problem with the amount of the force and the voices that you've got behind this campaign. But the yes vote for me essentially just it symbolised a change. And yeah, it was a leap of hope. It was a bit of a leap of faith. But if you had that drive and if you had that vision, then you had to vote yes and you had to kind of break away from that neoliberal, elitist, out of touch system that really drives so many people into the gutter of society and like one of the things that me and Liam do on the side is we run a little group called Cumbernauld Against Poverty and we work with food banks um, and I think all it would really take for someone to be a yes voter is to walk into a food bank and see what's going on in there and you would actually realise the kind of policies that, 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 that Westminster is actually putting out there so I voted yes because I do believe that there is the chance of a fairer society, and I think it was clear. It was clear that that was only possible with a yes vote. Mm. And Liam? Well, Jordan stole most of my thunder there, to be honest, but I've got a four-year-old daughter, and the vision that I sold to people when I was campaigning through the referendum was a vision of a Scotland that was better, fairer, a Scotland that could be reborn, a Scotland that could be uh, re-industrialised, we could kickstart industry again, we could make, we could make our, play, our country so much better and stronger. Also, the yeah opportunity to cut ourselves free from imperialism and hopefully hopefully my independent Scotland and the, the way I would have voted in the independent Scotland would certainly have been for uh, whatever uh, movement was going to offer uh, a difference to the imperialist uh, British attitude that has presided for so long. And ultimately I voted yes because my long term goal was a socialist republic. That's Maybe I shouldn't be saying that but that, that's exactly what I voted for long term. The independent Scotland was the first step to the Socialist Republic, and Jordan's very, very right what he says now. Without oh, sorry, I, I so just, to, just to interrupt. Sorry, you're perfectly welcome to say that on here. It's only BBC you're not allowed to say. It. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, but also another thing for me was with my uh, occupation, with my for, I'm fortunate to have a good salary, etc. I am better together. I am, be, I am actually better together. I should have been on the side of better together, but I wasn't. I was firm on the side of yes because I believe that people, sorry, far too many people, let's be frank, far too many people didn't look beyond the end of their noses when it came to voting yes. That much is clear when we see the demographic of who voted which way. But my Scotland was going to be better and fairer and greener for everyone. Well, hopefully we'll get a second chance and we'll win it then. All right, so um, now that's been wonderful to have both of you on and really best of luck for from the campaign. It's something that... I, Actually, not only something that should be happening now, it's something that should have happened a long time ago. So um, thanks, Jordan, and thanks, Liam, for coming on. Thanks for having us. Cheers. So there you go. That was Jordan and Liam. And in places there, that was quite emotive stuff, I'm sure you agree. Anything you can do to lend support to their campaign, I'm sure, would be much appreciated. The links are in the blog post for this episode. So I'm sure you can find your way to their website and see how you can support them. For our next episode here, I've already got it recorded, I'll probably put it out on Sunday, but for this episode, the last thing as always is that the guest, or in this case guests, choose the tune, and this is what Liam and Jordan chose, so speak to you next time.
sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. I wanna die in your arms. Oh, oh, oh. So you get lost. Oh 